one day you are going to appear before Christ in glory, and you're going to give an account. Your works will be tried. So the question is, what's it going to be like for you when you appear before Christ in glory? You know, we think about that moment, and it thrills us, right? Christ in you, the hope of glory, the, the fact that one day that we're going to have a new body, right? And says that, you know, we, we don't yet, we, we know not what we shall be, but we know that when He appears, we shall be as He is. And what a thrill that is to think that we're going to have a glorified body in Christ like His, that will be perfect, that all of eternity will be laid out before us, that we'll be going into the millennium with Christ to rule with and reign with Him over the nations and see just the most magnificent kingdom that ever existed set up here on earth. I mean, we often think about those things and they're, and they're thrilling to think about, but I wonder how many of us think about how quickly you would consider your life in the light of that moment, what you accomplished here. How quickly will it turn from all the things that you are going to do to all the things you did do? How quickly will think, man, everybody else is getting these rewards handed out. You know, there's the crowns being given out. Everyone's receiving rewards. People are given ten cities to rule over, five cities to rule over. You know, the lion's coming down to me. Eventually, I'm going to stand. I'm going to give an account. I'm going to receive my reward. And they start to wonder, they start to ponder, they start to think about what it is they actually did in their life. <clears throat> the Bible says in 1 John, And now, little children, abide in Him, that when He shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before Him at, at His coming. He says, the reason why you need to abide in Him, the reason why you need to do these things to mortify the members, to put on the new man, is that when you appear with Him in glory, when you appear you may have confidence and not be ashamed. There's going to be some people that day saved. That's not going to change. But they're, going to, they're God's children, but they're going to stand there and it's going to start to slowly dawn on them that they wasted their opportunity. And you know what? They're going to stand up and they're going to give an account and they're going to have to hang their head. And that realization is going to hit them like a ton of bricks. <clears throat> I wonder how long it will take a person like that to figure out that the preacher was right. In that moment, how long will it go through their mind? You know what? The preacher was right. I should have mortified my members. I should have gotten out of fornication. I should have put off the old man. I should have walked after Christ. I should have done those things. 